demon just came out of nowhere and stole my scene! It's okay, Miss Etna. At least your precious memories weren't destroyed. That just makes everything worse. It makes me sick that I was saved by a demon like him. Yeah, no doubt he stole the show, dude. I don't know why he appeared, but he just got my way. He even made that stupid promise. Vyas? Never heard of you. But if you get in my way, you won't live to see tomorrow. Please, calm down. You tried to destroy the lovely lady's memories, thinking they were worthless. But if you did that, she would never let you get away with it. Yep. If you don't want to die, then don't piss me off. <laughs> what can she do? I'll just destroy her and not have to worry about it. I see that both of you are willing to settle this through battle. How about we return here another day to settle your duel? Huh? Why should I agree to that? I just want my memories back. If you fight Madeiras now, you won't walk away unscathed. You've exerted plenty of your energy during your previous battle. You're enjoying this, aren't you? The duel will be held three days from now. We shall all meet at Grand North, several miles north of Madeiras's castle. If Etna should win, Madeiras must return her memories. But if she should lose, hmm. How about uh, Madeiras will become the next overlord? Hey, hey! I will not agree. What guarantee do I have that I will become the Overlord by defeating her? There are plenty of others who are vying for that title. That is a good point. However, she did eliminate the Prince, the rightful heir to the throne. I am confident that you would qualify as the Overlord should you defeat her. And I will also give you this for defeating the young Mademoiselle. The Demon Tome? Hey! Why do you have that? I, uh, <laughs> I stumbled upon it earlier. Yeah. I think God has rewarded moi for being so handsome. Miss Etna, why is everyone so surprised? That book is beyond priceless. The Demon Tome can only be held by the Overlord himself. It's proof of being from the royal family. If you have that book, you're basically the Overlord. Wow! I never knew it was that easy to become an Overlord! <laughs> Fool! Why should I wait? I could just kill you all now! I understand how you feel, but I won't give this up that easily. If you attack, I won't hesitate to toss it into the lava! Have you gone mad? It can make you the Overlord! You think I'm joking? Huh? Go ahead! Go ahead and attack me! Ah. Very well. I will adhere to your plan. By the way, why did that buyer's guy say he was going to give up the demon tongue? I don't think he had a choice in that situation. That's what I don't get. If he has the book, why doesn't he make himself the Overlord? It's because of love! Huh? Sacrificing yourself for the well-being of others. It's a wonderful act of love. Demons don't care about love. I know he has something up his sleeve. But I'll play along for now. I need to get rid of Madeiras first. Pretty Squad, are you ready? Anytime, dude! Huh? But we still have a couple of days to go! That's the whole point! It's a surprise attack! Oh my! Aren't you going to fight fair and square? Of course not! Well, let's go kill this guy already! Wait! I'm going with you! Continued Chronicles of Etnarnia.
This is boring, dude. Yeah, the duel is until tomorrow, dude. Who cares? It's easy money, dude. Yeah, dude. Getting money for doing nothing is great. And Master Maderos pays us every day, so there's nothing to complain about, dude. Have you heard? Working for Edna's like being a slave, dude. She demands 20-hour work days, dude, and she only pays when she feels like it. She's ruthless, dude. Who does she think she is? I kind of want to go out and defeat Edna myself, dude. I'd love to shut her up for good. Us Dark Durians are invincible, dude. You guys sure talk big. Huh? Dude! You're gonna beat me, huh? Don't make me laugh. Even if you were joking around, I'm still gonna kill you. But dude, the duel's not till tomorrow! Who can wait that long? This doesn't look good, dude. Don't worry, we have a powerful ally, dude! Please help us, blessed lady, dude! Finally, some action. All this waiting was tiresome. Who's this weirdo? Miss Antoine! Please defeat Edna, dude! I was supposed to face a renowned opponent. This is indeed a disappointment. Who is this meager valley girl? Surely this is some sort of jest. Meager? You're about to find out how not all that you are, dude! Miss Antoine is a professional assassin from the Noble Demon class, dude! She always hits her target no matter what! And she enjoys her victim's death cries, dude! Miss Antoine, please use your magnificent super move on Edna! <laughs> Don't die on me too quickly. I wish to enjoy this battle as long as I can. I don't have time to waste on you. I better make this quick. Your confidence. I shall truly enjoy this. Are you ready? My attacks shall deliver a sweet death.
lost? You have much inner strength. So what happens now? Are we going to keep this up? Miss Edna, no, Master Edna, I humbly apologize for my actions. As proof of my respect, may I help you to achieve your goal? Sheesh, that was a quick 180. Why should I trust you? Well, of course, my offer does not come without a price. If you allow me to join you, you shall be granted one wish. <laughs> By these frinnies! Why, dude, why? You got yourself a deal. They're striking a deal without us, dude! You better obey your new master. Uh, master Edna? <laughs> For my wish, it's... Whatever! Consider it done, dude! What did you ask them to do? You'll find out later. Come on, let's go. I hope it's nothing bad. Pretty serious. That's not like you at all. Mr. Vyers mentioned that you killed the Overlord's son. Is that true? Oh, that. Yeah, I killed him. Why do you care? So it wasn't a lie. Why would he lie? Why? Why did you have to kill him? What's it to you? To tell you the truth, I was sent from Celestia to assassinate the Overlord. But I can't kill people without a good reason, even if the Seraph commands it. That's why I need to know. Why did you kill him? Are you dense? Why are you telling me your secret mission? Miss Edna, please answer my question. He may have been the Overlord's son, but he was such a selfish little brat. So, I shot him with my gun. I guess they're pretty lethal. I'm glad he's dead. You killed him because you didn't like him? Yep. But what if he liked you? <laughs> yeah, right. That would never happen, even if heaven and hell collided. That kid hated love and friendship more than anything. How sad. Angels are so weird. There's no point in feeling bad for someone who's already dead. No, I'm sad for you, Miss Etna. What? Why? You don't have to pretend. I know you didn't mean to kill him, and now you're starting to regret it. Yeah, right. I feel great. Why are you denying the truth? Even if you feel no remorse, you should openly express your feelings. However I feel, the prince is still dead. 
So stop bringing him up. I don't want to think about that brat. The Overlord must be sad, too. Who knows? There's no going back, no matter what we do. I see. He sent the perfect candidate. She should be able to bridge the gap between Celestia and the Netherworld. Master Lamington! Master Lamington, are you here? Calm down, Volcanus. You're beginning to scare the spirits. Who cares about the spirits? I have received a report on Flan's activities in the Netherworld. 
Flan has failed to assassinate the Overlord and she's become friendly with the demons. Assassinating an Overlord is a much too difficult assignment for an Angel trainee. Let me carry out this mission. Volcanus, tell me, when were you appointed god? W w what are you talking about? Uh, I am here to serve my purpose as an archangel. Did you think I wouldn't know? Uh, I cannot accept this state of affairs. Everything is proceeding as scheduled. I have every faith in Flan to fulfill her duties. Her idealism shall hold firm. should be around here somewhere. That wuss, where's he hiding? As long as my memories are safe, I don't really care. Hey, this feeling. Why? Why did you kill him? Uh, that dog tried to get into the food storage. It's his own fault. I had no choice. Come on, let's go. Why did you? You were so weak! Idiot! Ah, so here you are. How are you doing? Are you getting used to your new home? Huh. Is something wrong? It's nothing. It's just... some noble demon killed this dog. But it's okay. I won't go hungry anymore. Kinda glad. You should be true to your heart. You're sad, aren't you? Huh? You don't have to pretend to be strong. You're kinda strange. You didn't have to dig a grave for it. <laughs> Am I? Yes. You're not like other demons. And inviting a commoner like me to stay at the Overlord's castle is unheard of. Do you believe that nobles should reign over everyone else? Does being a noble or a commoner or even a demon or an angel really matter? Is our discrimination necessary? Should we not strive for a world where everyone is treated equally, despite their class or species? You're really strange. But if you're going to make the netherworld a better place, I want to help you do it. I promise to make the netherworld a better place to live. Was that a part of my memory? Why? I haven't gotten my memories back from Medeiros yet. Did some of my memories stay with me? It feels like I'm forgetting something important. Miss Edna! Blah! Don't shout so close to me! We're surrounded by enemies! Be careful!
Did you really think I would fight fair and square? All I have to do is find that fire sky and steal the demon tome. After I become overlord, I will destroy Edna. <laughs> Sorry, but that's not going to happen. That voice. I finally found you. What? The duel is not until tomorrow. Did you really think I'd wait that long? Ah, you dirty little... Oh, I love it when you call me that. It really is the greatest compliment. Miss Edna, are you sure you want to anger him that much? He has your memories, you know. It's too late. Edna, you will regret this. Why don't you do it already? What? <laughs> you won't be so cocky after this. Your memory. Uh, it, it's gone. What happened? I thought you were going to make me regret something. <laughs> no! Where did it go? Master Edna, we got your memory back like you told us to, dude. Good work, Dark Durians. You! You betrayed me! Hey! We're demons, dude! Would you expect any less? Looks like the tide has turned. Uh, damn it! So, would you like your death sunny side up or will it be scrambled? You won't make it out of here alive! Witness my power! should I do to you first? Please, spare my life, please! Pathetic! I should never have relied on a demon to do an archangel's work! What? Who are you? <laughs> Filthy demon! You are not worthy of hearing my name! Mr. Volcanus! Why are you here? Who's this loser? He's the Archangel Volcanus! He is the supreme commander of the Celestial Hosts! But why are you doing this? An angel? Well, he looks like a bad guy to me. Ha, what are you talking about? You demons are the source of all evil! I am punishing you demons for the sake of world peace. If only that old man would listen to me! That is why I must become the Seraph and destroy all demons. How can you say all demons are evil? If our Lord heard that, he would be deeply saddened. Flan, how dare you talk back to me like that? It's all your fault. If only you had been eliminated, everything would have gone according to plan. 
I even disguised myself as God to deceive you, but you still survived! You were God? You tricked me! You lied to me more than any demon I've met! <laughs> if I defeat you and Edna, and then take the Overlord's corpse back with me to Celestia, I am sure to become the Seraph! Flaw, for the peace of the world, you must die here. What a dork! Don't compare me to demons! <laughs> I don't care if you are an Archangel! I've had enough of your mouth! You're no different than Medeiros, tricking impressionable girls just to gain a title! Oh, shut up, you demon! I don't care what you are. I just wanted Medeiros to suffer utter misery for dragging me into this mess. But you killed him. So now what am I supposed to do for fun? You're gonna pay big time for that, chump! You're blaming me for this? Yep. How about you kneel down and beg me for your life? Oh, and apologize to Flan, too. Miss Edna? <laughs> Don't be silly. Do you, an ordinary demon girl, truly believe you can defeat me? Challenge me if you wish to die. I will show you the power of the next Seraph. He did not escape. Instead, he shall suffer the wrath of the Seraph. How do you do, Mademoiselle? Appearing after it's all over? I bet you were hiding somewhere watching from a safe distance. Oh, so harsh. You are about to regain your memories. You can at least thank moi for that. I didn't need them. They're not even worth one hell. But I guess they really will return. How are you doing, Miss Edna? Do you remember anything? Hmm... I'm not sure. But I think I'll remember in time. You don't look too happy. I am. But... But? There's more sorrow than happiness. That's because you haven't fulfilled your promise. Promise? What are you talking about? You have regained your memories. You should remember by now. Miss Edna? Promise? Did you call for me, my lord? It's about my son, Laharl. Oh, that Brad. Oops. So, what about the prince? It's been a long time since I became the overlord. I am old, and I don't know when I'll be defeated by another demon. He'll never be defeated. I'm just saying if. If I die, the Netherworld will be plunged into chaos once again. Many demons will come after Laharl to become the next Overlord. Etna, this is not an order, but a promise between you and me. Promise? If I die, will you please protect Laharl? and make sure Laharl becomes a great overlord. The 
That's right. I did make a promise to the Overlord. I completely forgot. What was I doing? I killed the prince. Hey, what is this? No, it can't be. Miss Edna? Get away. Don't look at me. I don't get it. Why am I crying? You're finally being true to yourself. You're regretting that you killed the Overlord's son, aren't you? Miss Edna, if you're sad, it's okay to cry. Would you like some assistance? Miss Edna? Sorry, but I'm not that weak. I won't say I'm not sad for killing the prince, but I can't go back. This is the way I chose to live. There's still something you can do. What is that? You can say a prayer for him. For his peace and eternal rest. What do you think? It's not much, but I guess I can do that. All right! <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I uh, apologize for disturbing you at such an emotional moment, but... Beautiful Mademoiselle, are you not forgetting something? Huh? Is he not, after all, the son of the mighty King Krichevskoy?
Oh, man, I overslept. Huh? Where am I? There's no time to be tired. The Netherworld has gone to hell while you were sleeping.